fight. Very good fight. I was at the fight. I don't like judging fights at the fight. I had Wilder win in the first four rounds. Plus, I gave him round 9, 10, 8, round 12, 10, 8. So that's 8 to 4. Win of Deontay Wilder. But that's seeing it. That's, 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 not, that's, that's being there, seeing it. Being distracted, talking shit, you know, fans and noise and shit. And not really focused, paying attention on the fight. Then, then I'm biased. So I see what I want to see. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? But I know that Fury spent a lot of the fight on the ropes. I do know that um, he didn't land much. Don't get me wrong. He landed some power. We had wobbles, wild, wild, wobble, especially in the last round, 11, 12th round or something like that. He had wobble, wild, wild, wobble. But. I think the the highlights of the fight come from Deontay Wilder putting Fury down twice. Those are highlights when you think about the fight. The only Fury highlight you got is he got up. He got up. That's his highlight. Damn. He got up from that 12th round knockdown, that right hand level. He got up. That's his highlight. He got up. If he got up, who put the motherfucker down? So Wilder provided the highlights. Wilder put him down twice. So maybe I, I want to say I haven't I've yet to watch it on TV. I gotta watch it on TV. I'm biasedly watch it on TV and say who won this fight. You know what I'm saying? And Fury can box. You know I know he did damn good. I know he did damn good. You know, from what I saw, he did good. But enough to win. He was on the ropes a lot. You gotta take the championship away from the champ. You know what I'm saying? I mean it was a draw. So, obviously, he didn't take it away. But if it wasn't for that last knockdown, Fury would have won the fight, according to the judges. But I still don't think, I don't know. I got to watch it on TV. What do you think about the draw? Do you think that was a fair decision? Yeah. Um. Still, I said, at the fight, I had Wilder well, winning the first four rounds plus two, two um, 10 eight rounds. So... That's not a draw. You know what I'm saying? That's not a draw. But then again, I got to see it. I got to see it. I got to see it. I just told you I got to fucking see it. So how you going to ask me? Do I think that's a fair decision? I just told you, motherfucker. At the fight, I'm distracted. But I had Wilder one in the first four plus two, two, ten, eight round. I just told you I'm at distracted. I'm talking, talking shit. I, I running around, doing things. I just told you I'm distracted. So why the fuck? Well, no, for real. Like, keep it a buck. Why would you ask me, do I think the draw was fair? Didn't I just tell you I'm distracted, motherfucker? Didn't I just tell you I got to give it another watch, a look on TV so I can get a clear perspective? I just told you that. I just told you that. So why the fuck you ask me, do I think that was fair? Motherfucker, I got to see it again. Really, I got to see it for the first time. From what you saw that night live, what would you say about Fury skills? <clears throat> what would you say about Wilder skills? Neither one of them pretty were really skilled to me, to be honest with you. Neither one of them are sh technical, sharp fighters, to be honest with you. I think Joshua beats them both in terms of um, technique. But I think they beat Joshua, well, Wilder beats Joshua in terms of heart, because Joshua pussy, and, 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 and power, you know what I'm saying? I think Wilder get in Joshua's head. I think Fury can get in Joshua's head, too, to be honest with you. You know what I mean? I think that I think that technique wise, when it comes to a sharp sharp punches like that, I think Joshua's far better. When it comes to moving around, shit like that, I think Wilder's I mean uh, Fury's much better. And being a little bit elusive, I think Fury's much better. And defensively, I think Fury's much better, you know, Fury's been his waist and shit like that. And I think with power and and power, tenacity and Will Wilder's better. Would you say Fury's the man to beat at heavyweight now? No. No. I I even I even didn't think Wilder was the man to beat because um Joshua Joshua beat Klitschko, and don't get me wrong, I think that the um, Ortiz that Wilder beat would have beat the um Klitschko that Joshua beat. 
but Joshua got the more marquee name on his resume, the legendary Klitschko. And Joshua has the more belts. You know what I'm saying? He got the WA, the IBF, the WBO. Joshua got the lineal belts. You understand what I'm saying? And the, and, um, the ring belt. He got the ring belt too, right? So I think Joshua's still the man, but I just don't think he's the best. But I think he's the man to be that heavyweight. I think he sits, uh, he sits atop the throne due to the fact that he got those belts. He beat the Klitschko. And over there in England, he's doing crazy numbers. They ain't doing numbers like that. You feel me? He's doing crazy numbers. I think him and um him and um Fury, man, the numbers that shit they do, wow. And him and Wilder won't do as big as him and Fury, but him and Wilder will do some numbers too. You understand what I'm saying? But I prefer Wilder get that shot first and Fury. Because um as of late, what you've done for me lately, Wilder's earned it. Fury took two years off and that kinda, you know. Stagnated him a bit. Would you say Fury is the best heavyweight? In terms of technique and skill? Yes. No, in terms of height. Of course, technique and skill. What else can you will make you the best heavyweight? There's several things that can make you the best heavyweight. Like we just said, you're not as smart as you think you are. You're about as smart as a box of rocks. Several things to make you the best heavyweight. Like I said before, if you look at, you ask me who sits the top of the throw, and I said, yeah, even though he's not, I don't think he's the best fighter there. I said Joshua sits, sits the top of the throw because he got the linear belts and he got the bigger name on his resume, Klitschko. And he got the linear belts. I just told you, dumbass, that. Fury beat Klitschko too, though. So but listen, saying? but listen, but listen, but I'm saying this Fury, 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 Fury had retired for a couple of years. Remember, you know, remember I just said, what have you done for me lately? You know he what I'm retired. saying? He that, came out of retirement. Yeah, he came out of retirement. He boxed shit out of a WBC champion. He didn't box the shit out of him. He, he, he outboxed him. He outboxed him, but he ain't outboxed the shit out of him. He boxed he, the shit out of a while. The motherfucker boxed him so good, he got clipped twice and arguably got knocked out in the 12th round. No <laughs> That's how he, What the fuck he do? He got clipped twice and arguably went to sleep in the 12th round. I agree. Ain't that's no not boxing the shit out of but that's he not, the shit out of a while. That's not boxing the shit out of somebody. How many and then again... Oh, that nigga missed right hand. He made left and right. He was just missing right hand. The motherfucker wasn't even throwing the right hand. He was just the just motherfucker was right doing whatever. He, he the nigga missed damn near every right How many hand he threw. He he he, he honestly he and he put combos together. And this is from a dude that came out of retirement for two years. So I'm gonna ask you again. But technique wise, technique wise, technique -wise. I got a technique wise, technique wise. Technique wise, look who Fury for technique wise. And the another Klitschko, thing. you giving Joshua props for. The Klitschko, yeah. The Klitschko I'm giving Joshua props for. Joshua went there. And what has a lot to do with that is the way the fight went. Because they both touched the canvas. Remember that. And then he stopped Klitschko. They both touched the canvas. Then he stopped Klitschko. And they both touched the canvas. So it was a it was one of those heavyweight fights that had you on the edge of your seat. Fury Clitch go to have nobody on the edge of their seat. You know what I'm saying? Wilder, not Wilder Clitch go, but Joshua Clitch go had you on the edge of their seat. Like, oh shit, nail by the fight. Fury Clitch go had nobody on the edge of their seat. What could that be? Wilder Fury had people on the edge of their seat. Joshua Clitch go had people on the edge of their seat. Ortiz Wilder had people on the edge of their seat. Fury Klitschko ain't had nobody. What what Fury fight had people on the edge of their seat? Now I don't think about it. Fury Cunningham. I mean Cunningham, just because he dropped him now, I mean you on the edge of the seat. Because to be honest with you, Fury fouled the shit out of Cunningham in that fight. Fury hurt us for a minute stoke was punching him on the ropes and shit like that. Fury could have had points taken away, possibly disqualified in the fight. He 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 fouled he fouled the shit out of um Steve Cunningham in that fight. Well, the reason I think Fury's fight don't have people on the edge of their seats, as you say, because he's so skillful at heavyweight that a they skillful, can't touch him. 
a skillful, a skillful, a skillful fighter, a skillful fighter. It was the same way. A, yeah, a skillful fighter had you on the edge of your seat. Floyd never had you really on the edge of your seat. He just bought the shit out of people. Did you see? Did you see Floyd Corrales? Edge of your seat don't gotta mean I knock you down. You knock me now. That don't gotta mean edge of your seat, dumb motherfucker. No, every fight though. <laughs> that don't mean you. What you talking? You talking about every fight? Floyd Cano, they had people on the edge of their seat. Man, Floyd Cotto, Floyd Cotto, the had people on the edge of their seat. What the fuck is you talking about? And I go back to Corrales. Come here, baby. Give me.